an English scientist has created a surprising invention that uncovers the secret lives of animals that will help their conservation. In the northwest of India, one woman's crusade to save an old tradition is changing the lives of thousands of women. Near Oxford in England, a wild badger is being fitted with a state-of-the-art recording device. This is a self-writing diary that writes down everything the animal does, the direction it runs in, the schools it goes to, the shops it goes in, and uh, it all does it automatically without the animal having to pick up a pen. The badger experiment is the culmination of years of research and development by English zoologist Rory Wilson. All animals fascinate Rory but in his youth it was penguins that were his undivided passion. As a student, Rory became frustrated by what he couldn't observe of the penguins' daily lives. It was as if they were keeping their secrets to themselves. Terrible realisation when you've just freshly graduated and you say, I want to do a project on the marine ecology of the African penguin. So I saunter out to my island where I'm going to do my field work and here I am, green round the girls, but I know all the theory and um, watch the penguins as they all jump into the surf and that's it, they disappear. If you can't be where a penguin is, you've got to find something that can be there where you can't. And that's really how the recording system started up. But it became apparent to me fairly recently that it's not just penguins that are the problem. There are a whole pile of enigmatic and charismatic animals out there about which we know extremely little and where it's extremely important to know what's going on. Years later, Rory began to think about ways he could unlock those animals' secrets. If he could develop a kind of flight recorder that showed everything the animal did 24 hours a day, seven days a week, he would then get an insight into animal behavior never revealed before. In Whiteham Wood, in the heart of England, a group of scientists from Oxford University have been observing badgers for the last 30 years. Badgers are extremely shy and nocturnal. Today they're going to attach one of Rory's electronic diaries to a badger for the first time. Within science there's been huge advances in genetics and in biochemistry and understanding bits of animals but that the, for the last couple of decades, at least, that the whole animal work, the, the behavior of the animals, where they go, what they do, why they do it, this sort of thing, this hasn't been really exploited in the same way because the technology has not been keeping up with it. Wait. Rory is a zoologist by training. So to begin with, he had to work with computer and macroelectronics experts to create his device. He had to start thinking out of the box. In between his normal duties as a university lecturer, Rory began sourcing tiny electronic components from around Europe to make his multitasking device. Lloyd back. Once he had his prototype, he began to look around for suitable animals to try it out on. The, the first thing I stuck it on was myself, thundering up and down the corridors like a maniac. Uh, and then you think, well, I'm not really a typical animal. Whenever Rory needed to test a new device, he would head off to Rosilly Beach near Swansea in Wales with a ball and a willing assistant, Moon, his border collie. The thing about Moon is she's a marvellously enthusiastic helper. Uh, being a border collie, she likes to run around and be told what to do and run up hills and down hills and catch the ball and, and uh, go left and right and all the rest of it while the devices record what goes on. Once he knew the device worked, he realized it could be adapted for almost any animal. Rory and his team at Swansea University are working on devices to attach to different species all over the world. Well, what we've got in the magic box is uh, we've got a number of devices in here. The main one is really this one. This device, which we lovingly call the Daily Diary, is a device that records uh, I think 13 parameters in this particular version. 
then we've also got a camera card on which the data is stored, and this records one gigabyte of information, which works out to be about 750 million pieces of information. <laughs> The sensors are composed of a compass, a miniature compass, so we can find out what direction the animal's headed in. It also records the animal's footsteps, which tells us something about the speed of the animal. And then we have other sensors which record humidity, light, so we can measure the environment as the animal moves through it. And the final thing is because acceleration is a very good measure of energy expended, we can find out the energy that the animal expends doing whatever it does along the route. Now, the Daily Diary is ready to unlock the secrets of the badgers of Whiteham Wood. When I started with the penguin issue, I had no idea what was going on. And then, bit by bit, you get a little bit of information. And now, you get the device back and you pull out the data and you put it up on the, on the computer screen, and it's a book. And you're the first person opening the book, so I can't tell you how fundamental and how exciting it is top here, the temperature, when the badger was in its set, when the collar was pressing against the, the, the badger's body, and when it goes out, the temperature goes down. It goes back in the set, the temperature goes up, goes out, and down. And these lines here, these blue, red, and black lines, show acceleration in the three axes. If we look even closer at it, we'll discover that these are their footsteps. It's trotting, trot, 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 trot. These are the, each one of these corresponds to a, to a pace. Only sticky tape keeps Rory's precious device in place. Animals are well known for their callous attitude with respect to cost. You can put a device that costs as much as these do around their neck and, and they're quite happy to destroy them. So you have to make it so that they're not going to do that. And the best way to do that is embed it in resin. If it's embedded in resin, you can throw it against the wall and it'll still carry on doing its thing. This particular one has been on um, imperial cormorants in Argentina in Magellanic penguins in Argentina, on a lemon shark in the Caribbean, and is now about to go off on a badger. So they have a, a really exciting life. We're very keen not to lose them. Of course, the thing like a badger, you think can't lose it with a badger. Well, they can. They can lose it down their sets, and we can't go down there. If you work with sharks or cormorants, they fly off, and if they lose them at sea, that's another uh, enormous setback. But by and large, we don't, we don't lose them.